talking about, like I say, even though this is the bottom wire, it's a neutral wire, you, you can actually touch it, but you know, we tell people, of course, not to. But, but if you were to push that wire up into the top line, People ask about you know, how come a bird on a wire doesn't get electrocuted? Well, basically, what ends up happening is they're at the same potential. They're sitting up top here, nothing's happening. But as soon as they they go to take off, they were to touch both wires at the same time. They're going to become that path to ground. Same thing, motor vehicle. You know, it might be arcing the spark a little bit. I say, if you're touching that vehicle or step potential, you come that path to ground at the same time. Another one is we tell people to watch out for is maybe a power line is laying down on the ground. And again, you can't you can't tell whether it's energized or not. It may or may not be. But this power line is sitting there. Nothing's happening. But if it's dangling maybe about two meters off the ground and somebody were to touch it, maybe it's just above ground level. Maybe it's sitting on a barbed wire fence or guardrail or train tracks after a motor vehicle accident. But just something to be aware of. Yeah. Yeah. The other one is, of course, this time of year, especially with the trees out in the leaves, but we get some of the big wind storms and lightning storms that knock the tree over. The tree acts like both an insulator and a conductor. If it's really dry, it can be an insulator. Electricity doesn't travel down. Or if it's got enough moisture, it will conduct it down the tree. In this case here, you always got to stay away from the tree that's touching the power line. So. The other one here too, we talked about this ground wire coming down the power pole. Same thing. Sometimes it gets broken away or people actually will steal the cocker out of there. But you can put yourself in danger if you pull the touch at the same time. You come that path to the ground.